Hello, Stephen Jackson here, sejacksonphotography.com, based in Laurel, Maryland. Had a number of folks who had some questions, concerns, issues, glitch use, trying to access my website and downloading problems downloading photos, so I decided to record a how-to tutorial for YouTube. The program that I'm using is actually uh, free advertising, the Fast Stone, F-A-S-T, S-T-O-N-E, all one word, Capture, version 7.6. Faststone.org is a wonderful, wonderful, um, some of the first photo software that I ever used. They have a wonderful image viewer that's free, the Fast Stone image viewer, up to version 4.8 right now. And if this all goes well, I will probably offer some more tips in the future, but let's dive right in. I'm going to go through first the process and procedure for selecting and putting into your cart, your basket, images for print. Let's get to my website, sejackson.us, s-e-j-a-c-k-s-o-n dot u-s. There's no dot com. You don't need to type a www enter and here we are the opening slideshow is loading I'm going to hit pause and we're going to go straight to photographs and galleries if you are a client of mine more likely than not you do have a client access code which typically is your last name and quick example of that I know that one of my clients this year was Huber just type in Huber in the white box H U B E R hit enter and voila, there you are at the Huber Gallery. Let's go back to the home page. Um, if you're looking for sports pictures or um, f pictures from school, vacation Bible school, I've already set those up as hot links here. The uh, My other galleries, click on galleries, and we will use the sports and deportes as an example. So, prints. We're going to show all down at the bottom of your screen. And by the way, if you all are viewing my site on any type of mobile or tablet device and things don't render properly or you're missing buttons or buttons or drop down menus are not available, just scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and you should see somewhere there, it may be different for different devices, but an option to view in mobile view or in a traditional desktop view. Go ahead and choose that traditional or desktop view and things that were glitchy or strange hopefully will be rendering correctly. So these are pictures that I took here in Laurel at McCullough Field of uh, folks playing f football this year and in the years past. We're going to click on the select photos button and we're going to choose the first three images white check marks appear to show that they have been selected We're then going to click on the buy button or select product for three photos and that takes you to this menu so you see what happens when you just click on the buy button let's see what happens just hover over there and you end up at the same place and you click on the print menu button icon here and you can order Prints now. Prints will be drop shipped to your residence. Let's choose four by six small prints. We just want one of those. We had three. Three times two is six dollars and two hundred thirty-five dollars. What in the world? Well, let's look and see what's in our cart. Ah, uh, thing that's got saved from my last tutorial. Let's clear our cart. Yes, I'm sure I want to clear my cart. We'll continue shopping. Select photos. Those three photos are still selected. We want to buy the four by six prints, six dollars each. Add those to cart. And how? Let's choose some eight by twelve. So we're going to buy more products with the selected item, with the exact same three that we chose before, 8x12s, I may have said 8x11 or 8x10, add to cart, and that's it for ordering prints. You can check your shopping cart, 
the images that you have chosen. Your sizes are all here. Check out now. You do not need to register, but you can do a guest checkout, but I still will need contact information. Guest checkout, continue. And, and there you are. It's, that's it. Thank you very much, and any other questions, go ahead and feel free to give me a call or email me. My contact information is on the About Me page. It should be. Ah, the chicken. No, it's not. I guess we should just click on the contact link. Wouldn't that make sense? Yes, it would. There we are, my address and telephone number here in town.